everybody, welcome to Say Knife Kill. My name's Nico. I also go by a bunch of other names. Um, if you're new to the channel, drop a like, share, comment, subscribe, do whatever it is you do, or do none of those things. I can't tell you what to do. I'm not your dad. Uh, I'm just, this isn't a live, it's just a little recording that I'm doing of uh, some World of Warcraft gameplay that I'm gonna try and squeeze in before I go to bed. Uh, I'm not doing this live because what tends to happen when I'm live, like, <laughs> close to my bedtime, is that someone will log in and be like, hey, and then I'm like, ah, I need to make more content now. So yeah, nothing against you guys. It's just, I already streamed twice today. So, but I didn't want you guys missing out on any progress with this rogue, and I was really excited to keep playing him, so. I'm testing out that new combat spec. And I'm wondering if there isn't some sort of perk to using swords when you're using the uh, the, con the outlaw spec. Because right now I'm using the daggers because they have more agility, but I'm wondering if that isn't going to sort of fuck me over in the long run. Alright, some music for you guys. And let me know if the, um, the Game Boy stuff is too loud or whatever in the comments section. Small update on the channel. The plan was to order Jacob's laptop um, this coming Friday. Um, and again, it's one of those pieces of equipment that I that like I'm fully funding. Uh, but apparent, like, unfortunately, this is like what month is it? July. So seventh month out of the year. There's a lot of stuff I've had to pay for like last month and this month, and I haven't really been able to like save any money. Uh, I've been paying like my car insurance, and yeah, you know, shit just gets in the way. So, what? What is this? I need a claw smash. Anyway, point is, Jake's laptop is still coming. It's still in the works. It's just gonna take longer to get here than we thought. Uh, if you guys are wondering what kind of laptop we're gonna get him, there are two different options, and like which one we were gonna get him was going to be predicated on. How, like how much money we had. Um, so luckily all we really needed was a really strong CPU uh, to handle the rendering, rendering and editing and like he was going to play with the Warcraft with me if that was the only like, PC gaming requirement and wow we'll run on like fucking bare minimum specs like it is, so that doesn't really matter. Um, so yeah check the Amazon wishlist in the description of this video if you guys are curious as to like what we're actually looking at getting. If you guys like have any input please leave it in the comment section. We're, I'm, we're still learning and I've devoted a good amount of time to researching all this stuff but obviously like I've had other stuff going on so I might have missed something if you guys have like better options or if you have like some advice on what kind of stuff. We should get Jake for like an editing station. Please please let us know. Any and all advice is, is always welcome, even creative advice. For Gilneas. Which is what we call trolling. For my peace. Just in time, friend. Here come the Forsaken. You will come no further, Forsaken scum. By the war banner of our ancient Greymane clan. I guess you guys actually rely on the desktop audio to be able to hear what's happening in the game because it's a window capture, it's not, um, it's not game capture. Fuck him! Ooh, kill him! Or don't. Okay, that's fine. That's cool. I can't attack those things, otherwise I, that would be a little sword icon, not a little hand icon. Apparently, I have a letter from the Human King already. Elder Vazgan. Oh, do I have any of my old uh, titles on this character? No. <laughs> Great. Oh, what am I doing? Apparently, that's the. I thought that dude was gonna like smash those things, and that was gonna be like, you know, move on to the next bit. But I guess that's not the case. Whoops. Uh, I got a new dagger, I think. No? Yeah.
Oh, that's how you do that. Well, then, can I, would it let me do something like this, then? If I did that, and then, yeah, yeah, well, check that out. Woohoo! That would ruin the whole, like, fantasy aspect of it, or, but, you know, whatever. I like the idea of fist weapons, because I like the idea of being, like, kind of minimalist in a lot of stuff. I feel like you, when you're playing a fantasy game like this, or any game that revolves around the fantasy, you really need to be either, like, a super minimalist character, or just way over the top. Like, my, uh, what can I do my warrior you? that I main, like, it was never minimalist ever. Okay. Like, he was immediately Fury, I leveled him up Fury, like, I was using Titan's Grip, like, two two-handed weapons. One in each hand, just like big fucking hammers, like wailing through crowds. That was the fantasy that I wanted to play, so that's what I did. But I'd, it would be a little boring and trite if I were like, "Yeah, I'm going to play a warrior," which is kind of like the banal, like you know, just expected class that everyone gets to play. And then I was like, "Oh, but I'm going to play an arms warrior and use one two-handed sword." And most of the game, I'm just going to be doing this. Yeah, do, think of what you want with that motion as well. I'm afraid. Really needed that bug eye. I don't have a good main on this server, is the thing. Like, I might have to invest in transferring one of my level 100s and faction changing him so that I can actually get some gold here. So, it, like, at least get myself bags and stuff. If not that, then, like, have ask Airman for help. Who, I just remembered, is not actually on my real ID list. Even though I've asked him, I'm sorry, Airman, if you're watching this, I know I've asked you through email at least three separate occasions. I mean, there are three occasions I can remember. Get closer. Senior Airman, by the way, if you guys are wondering, is really like uh, I play a lot of games with him. Uh, it's always been on console, though. We've always played on PS4. And uh, he's another streamer here on YouTube. He's probably streaming the Legion Beta right now. But he's way more into the WoW metagame than I am. So if you guys are looking for more like detailed analysis and stuff like that, obviously go to him. A, a link to his channel is always in the description of my videos. Yeah. Don't quote me on him being live though. He might not actually be alive. He might have a life and friends. I feel like one of the things that's going to come to Outlaw Rogues is the ability to transmog the pistol that you whip out and shoot. Because that's go it seems like that's going to be an ability that you have to use a lot because I'm pretty sure it generates a combo point. I would have liked for them to at least like let you toy around with the Demon Hunter character creator. Because honestly, I am more interested in that than I am like actually playing a Demon Hunter. Like I don't actually I don't think I have it in me really to learn a whole other class and all those extra abilities. Ain't you a chipper looking one? But yeah. Oh yeah, I said this in my last when I streamed this earlier today. That uh there's got to be a fucking mailbox around here somewhere. Where did people used to pick up their looms? Way back before the flood in the city, that's where I remember now. Anyway, uh, in my stream earlier today, I was saying something that I was going to reference again, and I've just forgotten what it was. Way to go me. Super professional what we do here at St. Night Kill, obviously. Oh, I got my pistol shot! Thank god, you guys can see what the fuck I'm talking about. I need to get closer. It's a fun little bit of like, just engaging from a distance. And that gets a, it gets a buff. It does generate a combo point, so that's good. Um, but yeah, one of the things that's probably going to come is like some way to... Maybe a glyph or whatever that's going to change that pistol into something else. 
like a throwing knife that you could just whoosh, throw real quick, maybe. I need to target something first. I don't have a target. It's too far away. That's what I was going to talk about. Sorry. So yeah, in my stream earlier today, I mentioned to you guys that one of the reasons I was really interested to get back into World of Warcraft is because since uh, when I got started playing, I was like 13 or 14 years old, I think. I can't remember exactly. A long ass time ago. Right now I'm 24, so yes, a long ass time ago. It was like when the, the first year that World of Warcraft was out, like back before uh, there was anything to do past level like 40, like before Dire Maul came out. Anyway, so I, I played Vanilla WoW is the point of that whole spiel. And uh, I played on the PC then, but like once I was un like old enough to take WoW like semi-seriously, uh, I I was like 17 I guess, and I got a MacBook Pro, and I, I was like moving into sort of like learning more about film and editing and multimedia and all of that kind of stuff. So I had to try and do all of my gaming off of that, which meant that I was restricted to that little touchpad, or I had to buy myself a peripheral mouse and bring that around with me, and I just got super tired of that, and I never saw the point in investing in a gaming mouse. But, the rig that I have now is an amazing, amazing machine that I probably tacked way too hard. I need to get my cable wrangling down. And I'm excited to get back into World of Warcraft with an actual, proper gaming mouse. Even if, like, I'm still using all my old, like, moving mechanics, like, I you'd still use WASD to move around and, like, turn and stuff, which no one should do. It's a way faster just move with your right click. I remember I would play on my uh, my MacBook Pro, and no one knew that I had a touchpad. Like, I'd just gotten so accustomed to it that, like, occasionally I could get away with, like, maneuvers and plays that, like, people wouldn't expect anyone on a touchpad to get away with. Like, you kill three people at the, at the lumber mill in Warsaw Gulch, and then people would be like, oh, man, that's really cool. And then they'd see me do something really weird, like, back up and turn real slow, and they're like, why do you keep doing that? Like, why don't you just, like, whip your turns? And I'm like, uh, well, I don't have a mouse. And they're like, what? So I always, like, I always made it into the metagame of every expansion. Like, once... I guess I was old enough once... Once Wrath came out, I was in the metagame for a while. Any friend that, of I never even friend of mine. Cap. I just was always making new characters. I was, like, a kid, and I was way too into, like, the story of it. Um... So I just got into the metagame, and the story was always the same once I had that MacBook Pro. It was just that, like, you know, people would see my character move around kind of weird, and they'd be like, why does your character do that? Oh, well, you know, I don't use a mouse. Like, oh, what is it? that sucks. Like, you can't raid with us anymore. Like, if you're not using a mouse, we can't count on you to, like, move out of the way of stuff, I guess. So, yeah. If you know anything about WoW, the most recent example that I can think of was when Ray, when the final area of Wad was opening up, the final part of Draenor, um, and like the raids were starting to come out. Like Highmall, I think was the no no no, no Highmall, the one with the dude with the fucking the Black Rock. The Black Rock Raid, that one was coming out. And I finished the first boss and the third boss, because they dragged me in for the third fight. And then after a while, like, the whole raid was getting stuck, and they were just like, okay, well, fuck it, like, we're not gonna try and, like, pull anybody, even though I was, like, doing great DPS and stuff anyway. I am bitter about that, obviously, but hey, like, Ain't shit I can do about it. Like, what they did made a lot of sense to them. I can see how it would make sense. What am I supposed to do? Free yourself from the Dark Scout's freezing thing. Wow. Get wrecked! I don't know why I did that. 
Well, okay, so one of the big differences I'm already noticing between the assassination spec that they start you out with and the uh, outlaw spec that you can choose when you hit level 10 is that the assassination spec actually generates two combo points when you like hit someone with your daggers on your first hit. And that's pretty good because you can like immediately transition into something that dumps your combo points. Which I think was in Venom, but I don't remember. Day 43, still no sign of a mailbox. It'd be an interesting MMO if the, like, it was something set up like WoW, but the only way that you can communicate in the game is like actually through mail, like you can't actually use a chat, you can't sl well you can use chat, but you can only use local chat, you can't like slash whisper. I mean, sure a game like that exists. Post one in the, in the comment section if you guys know of a game that is like what I'm talking about. Oh, this is uh, building up to the thing that lets you turn back into a human. Our curse grants us strength. I wonder. No, I don't. That wouldn't really be a glyph. That doesn't make sense. I wonder if there's a glyph or an item or something that lets you stay in human form as a organ when you're in that. combat. Because like being a, a werewolf and everything is really cool, but I feel like I'm gonna get tired of that walking animation. The whole like lumbering like noodly armed thing. What's that? Moonleaf. Okay. I think when this first came out, or am I thinking of the Draenei? Or Tauren? I think Tauren had a uh, mission in their starting quest line uh, that actually required you to have herbalism. The gathering profession. That I didn't last long. Speaking of which, I don't know what professions I'm gonna make this guy do. If it were like, I don't know if they've re like in initiated this, but there was a point where like the, your profession actually gave you like certain buffs, like your gathering professions, like mining gave you extra stamina, skinning gave you extra crit rating, um, herbalism gave you, I think. Uh, It wasn't intellect, it was something like intellect. Spirit, I think is what it was. Uh, but I don't remember. So like, it was a cool way to min-max your character. Like, if you had a tar and prop warrior and you did mining, like, your stamina would be that much higher. Uh, likewise, like, if you were a... They probably, I think they did away with this before Cataclysm, but like... Imagine if you were a Worgen Rogue and you got extra crit rating just for learning skinning, which would make sense because Worgens don't need knives to skin, so it's kind of... It goes hand in hand. Claw and claw. It goes claw and claw. I'm level 12 already. I was thinking I'm not leveling up nearly as fast as I was in my live stream earlier today, but that is actually not the case. I'm leveling up pretty steadily. These things are level eight. Why am I doing this? I much? need to get closer. I don't have a target. I would drag myself into PvP, but I tried that. I I did an outlaw road on a uh, a blood elf on my main server. It's too far away. And it just I tried to like bring myself straight into PvP after like figuring out what each of the abilities were. And I went to Noxic.com, check that out. By the way, guys, if you're like getting into the game and you need help with your rotations and gems and enchants and stuff. Uh, I went there to figure out like kind of what abilities I should use. And the good news is that Outlaw Rogues actually get their like they finish out their main rotation by like level 14. So that was pretty cool. Unfortunately at the time I was like level 12 when I went into battle games. But they normalize your stats now, so that didn't really matter either. Anyway, the point of the story is, I went into Battlegrounds and I felt woefully unbalanced against the other players. Even with full looms. Which is really weird, because like, given the way that Outlaw feels when you play in PvP, you would expect it to hit harder in PvP. Then again, it, it might have been a problem with my gear. It might have been that like, I, besides my looms, I obviously wasn't wearing any rings or trinkets, as you can see.
I'm excited for the Demon Hunter on principle, but I mean, in practice, I don't think the class is actually going to feel fun. I'm okay, so I'm apprehensive as to whether the class will like feel fun to play. Like, wishing like around and stuff and like transforming your character. It seems like it would be cool. On a side note, I feel like they should give Blood Elves Druid class. They should give the Blood Elves the Druid class, is what I was trying to segue into. And the reasoning for that is that they're like, essentially Blood Elves and Night Elves are like one bloodline apart. Um, from what I understand of the lore. And like, you could even, you could balance it out and you could say like, give Night Elves Druids and give give Blood Elves Druids, give Night Elves Shamans or something, because I feel like that would also make sense. Uh, given how tightly they're connected to nature, though admittedly, like, animals, not necessarily the elements. I need to get closer. I feel like it would be a short leap to make for you to be like, oh, but like, not just nature as like a balanced druid, but also like, Nature, as in the elements. I don't think that would be a far leap for them to make in the same way that it. It would be a shorter leap than it was for them to sell dwarves as shamans. I used to think once upon a time that the game was going to build to a setup where. Um, I'm picking that up just to see if I can like this style and then I don't think I can. The game was ultimately going to build to a place where all of the races had access to all of the classes. And but like just for fantasy's sake, but like obviously there are certain situations where you really wouldn't want to play that race class combination, like a Tauren Rogue would be like playable, but in the end game, like it would be really hard to min-max. That walk it just looks so dumb. Oh, I never googled how to fucking turn off the, um... Fuck. The fucking whether or not your helmet is showing. I thought it was an interface, but I, I might be wrong. I thought, I thought it was an interface and then display. I know, I know I've like fucking looked in there like 17 times. Maybe... No, I don't know why it would be in here either. Graphics quality. Recommended. 10. Let's do it. Let's fucking tax that GPU. Oh lord. What's funny is my GPU should easily be able to handle that. Actually. It's not even that hot. Let's see here real quick. Got my system. We're running on 10. Um... I'm surprised there isn't like triple buffering disabled. Uh... That's fine. Render scale. Oh, so yeah, I'm just gonna turn that back down to four because I was honestly okay running at four. That's much better. I was wondering if they have the same kind of option they do in Overwatch to like see how your graphics card is performing up like in the corner of the screen. And that, I mean, I'm sure they do like in an add on. Um, oh, I gotta do that to three of these things. We do what we must. Uh, which one of them looks cooler? Neither of them, so I'll take the dagger. Father! Lorna! The fuck? Alright, hold on, real quick. I wanna see if I can just find this.
How do I turn off my helm? It's in the forums. Oh, do, do they just not let you do it? Bring up the menu, interface, display, you can turn off cloak and helm here. Okay, but when is that post from? This one's from March 2016. Please bring back the disable helm option. So, did they just get rid of it? No or, I, maybe you have to go to a transmogrifier and have them, like, the remove it? Far stronger. My men are ready to give their lives under your command. Yeah, okay, so it looks like it's in the wardrobe. Oh my god. Okay. The forums are good for finding people who don't know how to read. I mean, okay, obviously they know how to read, but, like, they, they don't know how to, like, actually listen to what they're reading. The first post was from a guy who was like qualified that said by s qualified himself in saying that he had never had his helmet showing ever since vanilla World of Warcraft and that it struck him as odd that they would remove the option in favor of having it available in the wardrobe, meaning you have to go to a transmogrifier to have it show up invisible. And that the problem with that is that you actually have to do that every time that you like put on a new helmet. You have to bring the helmet to the transmog, have it like in set it to invisible. Um, and then the guy said, "Well, why don't you just go to the transmog and set it to invisible once?" And I guess maybe this is just somebody who is so far in the meta game that he hasn't had to change his gear ever, but. I, he sort of missed the point of like the problem with that is that if you like stylistically never having your helmet on like you like seeing your character's features um, then it doesn't make sense to hamstring those people not hamstring them but sort of like handicap them or whatever by forcing them to go back to a capital city and story? transmog every time they get a new Farewell. piece of like headgear Oh yeah, so, I got the thing now. That's what my character looks like as a human, in case you guys were wondering. Can't see his face. I'm like vaguely Asian. That works. I look vaguely Asian in real life, too. I get all kinds of people, people like, trying to guess my ethnicity all the time, and it's fucking hilarious every time. Oh, why did the music stop? NCS, why you no show me love? That's a change of pace. Oh, there we go. There it is. What is this? Laura says, Blar. Why? I'm supposed to be dancing right now. Find Krennen's Aranas on the road to Tempest's Reach. I don't know how to do that. Just wanted to say goodnight before it gets too lit. Oh lord, good thing she's got work tomorrow. I don't know why it's become so much easier for me to just like, m maybe it's that I'm becoming more of like a content creator, but like every time well, like man. something new happens like in my life, I feel like I could talk to YouTube about it, but it just wouldn't, like maybe I'll just make like a personal YouTube channel instead of like a gaming channel and my, my podcast channel to just literally just do personal vlogs because like there's so much that I could talk about that I'm always like, man, I should be in front of a camera right now. Like when I'm talking about my fitness stuff or when I'm 
fight. Stuff that happens in my personal life. That pistol shot feels really satisfying. Oh, it goes what? That thing did no damage. Okay, so again, Greyman is here. Baron Ashbury slain. How do I do that again? If I turn human, will they not attack me? Okay, well, hey, here we go. Now they'll definitely not attack me, right? Okay, so Baron Ashbury is in there. And then Lord Walden is somewhere else. I've played through this before, and I keep having to stop myself from ruining the story for you guys. Because I know where this leads. Actually, the Worgen starting zone is like, it's got a very good, deep narrative that you, that... It pulls at you, that, and that's it's a narrative that doesn't really exist in many other starting zones. Especially starting zones like Draenei and Blood Elf, like you kind of just sort of grind those out, like, that and you're done. So, this guy's already a higher level than my Blood Elf, which is cool, I guess. There's Baron Ashbury. <laughs> Good. Good sap. I'll just CC it until I die. Old age. There we go. Alright. Fuck it. I'm gonna do this outlaw shit. I'm gonna go on a rampage. Nobody is safe. Rampage! Your next video will play in 20 seconds. Oh, sorry, in zero seconds. That was the joke. Get closer. I don't know if I'm just blowing these people away. It's great. Wait. Wait for it. Why is he so slow? Oh! Whoa! I didn't notice that! I guess you fucking kneecap people then. That's how that's working. Kneecap! 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 Ah, uh, okay, so I can only do three. I'm sure there's gonna be some way to pet to spec into that at some point, somehow. Whenever I see a bunch of critters like that, I always think it'd be really fun to just like whirlwind through them as like a warrior or something. This game's good for like, stress relief in that sense. Kinda like a GTA moment where you just kill everything. Like everything's dead. I'm on a rampage. I'm a wild animal. Can I? Well, let me do this. That's cool. I honestly didn't think it would let you do that. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Well, let me sap. Oh, and you can even sap and still stay in your human form. Because it keeps you out of combat. That makes sense. That's sap, though. Let me tell you about my life, buddy. So. 1991, November 23rd. I was born in Reading, England. Kind of like this place, but not quite as rainy. So anyway, I was born in Reading, England, and this story is gonna get really boring really quick. So I'm just gonna kill this. I need to get closer. I'm not a good storyteller. <laughs> just kill everybody. Whenever, yeah, whenever you're like you're in an awkward situation and like you you thought the conversation was going somewhere and then it just like gets kind of quiet and awkward, just kill the person you're talking to. Works every time. All right. Your nails will prevail. I'd actually rather wear the top hat, and what's annoying is I know that's not gonna get stuck in my- it's not gonna be I'd in my wardrobe. I'd die than have one of your kind for a king! Experience. Helmet. Yeah. Yes. 
sad. Let's see. There used to be... I think I used it way back in Wrath of the Lich King, but there was like a really comprehensive like quest helper mod that would actually like give you arrows to like move to specific points on the map to complete specific quests. And it would tell you what quests to pick up to level up your character. Ah, oh, I missed that mod. I'm sure there's something like that now. I'm just too lazy to find it. And also if I clutter up my UI with mods, then it's not going to give you guys an accurate representation of how the game should feel when you play it. Not everybody has the energy to go out and find mods that work and make them work and set them up. A lot of mods require a lot of like finessing and stuff to actually work like per person. But if you're in the metagame, mods are kind of absolutely necessary. I guess it just doesn't even show you your glyphs or anything. Blade flurry, roll bones, between the eyes. So yeah, there is another gunshot one, that's cool. I was wondering about that. The spells are there. I'll read those real quick. Gouge, pick lock, bribe. It's got some pretty funny stuff in here, like like kick, pickpocket, crimson vial, which is like your character pulls out some, drinks it, heals himself. Um, pick lock, bribe. Uh, you get a passive? Okay. Mechanical keyboard doing what it wants. Your main hand attacks have a 17 ball that will trigger an attack with your off hand that deals. Oh! That could be cool. At least dual wield is still like a main staple for rogues. Like you use it in all of your different things. It would have been weird if they were like, here's a rogue class that's ranged. Though, you know, actually I could get behind that, like a sniper class. That's kind of like um, marksman, but super squishy. And relies on just doing like like, like a like a really glass cannon class that like kind of has to hang back and just does like kind of just like a really big aim shot and that's it. But like I don't know how you would build a whole get class Gabby around one ability. Going. Uh, you could even build it as like a support. Like they just introduced a sniping support to Overwatch, so it wouldn't be that big of a stretch. But yeah, like a sniper that could like stuns people from really far away, has like one really big powerful move, but aside from that, it's just, like support. Range. I don't know. It's not my job to figure it's out how to put away. the blizzard. My, yeah, uh, my bags are gonna get full. I'm annoyed that that, hel that uh, top hat isn't like, you know, learnable as a style. It's too far away. I don't have a target. Then again, that that like lot range support that I'm talking about could be, um, like Beast Mastery might be pretty close to that already because they now have, or is it one of the Hunter specs now is has the exclusive access to traps, and it's either Beast Mastery or Survival. If it's Survival, then what I'm theorizing doesn't make any sense. I got a bad feeling. Good. That's much better than get Gavin or get going. And then as weird as like I'm gonna say get Gavin or get going. And then immediately as soon as you're done with the like flavor text, it's like that's enough Gavin for me today. It's like say your piece. Alright, I'm done talking to you. Maybe that's just the American.
you've got it's no locked it's locked it's locked we so kill the slave master get the key from him then unlock everybody's chance got it sorry guys <laughs> Blend in. See, the movement feels much more natural. Oh, you know what? I think there there might be something that turns you it turns you human like whenever you're not in combat, just all the time when you're not in combat. Or that might just be a mod. Set. Can I only step one target at a time? Yes. Get something first. Oh, I lied. I get the keys from those dudes. That takes way too long. I don't have time for this. I'm out of range. Why do I have four combo points? It's not like I'm mine. Maybe they'll give that to, uh... That sort of, like, stealth ranged ability. Maybe they'll give that to the Outlaw Road. That might be the Between the Eyes ability that I was reading. Ooh, let's find out. Cloak of Shadows. How is that different from provides a moment of magic? Oh, I thought it just said provides a moment of magic. Bribes a non-player human target up to level 55 with fool's gold, convincing it to fight for you for five minutes. <laughs> that actually sounds pretty cool. Up to level 55 though? I don't know, maybe you can glip it to get other stuff to fight for you too. And I'm sure there are also like NPC limits on that, like you can't do like a vanilla boss or whatever. Um, blind. What was I looking for? Between the eyes. Finishing move that deals damage with your pistol and stuns the target critically. Yeah, okay, so it's not really like ranged per se. That, that ability is more like a, um, it's a breach, or like a way of initiating engagement. It's like a charge, but that one specifically is actually a finishing move, which I guess would be effective if your target is running away. Rothog. Did a hell of a job naming these guys, Blizzard. Get at me, boy. That boy, Brothog. Aw. Oh. Gonna be really good for kiting. Get a uh, fucking hammer out that uh, energy renewal. Enslaved Gilnean breed. I need to yeah, I'm just gonna collect keys. That's what I do. It's too far away. They call me Jangles. That's a Graceland reference. If you guys didn't know. See, like, I wish there were a third thing for, like, hand cannons. I'm either. out of range. Hand cannons, I probably wouldn't have that one. But just, like, guns that you could use, then that would, like, you would whip those out. Or even, like, another classification of weapon. Maybe that'll come later. Because I can't be the only guy who's thinking this. I know, like, small, um, small range weapons. How, like, people have wanted those for a long time. Like, since, at least, since even before Cataclysm. And, you know, obviously, probably before that. Even. Because that's one of the things, one of the archetypes, RPG archetypes that this play, that this game is missing is the gunslinger. The kind of, like, pistol whipping kind of guy. And that's somewhere between a rogue and outlaw. And the outlaw comes kind of close, but it's not exactly... Like, it's kind of like an outlaw spec that would be focused on gunplay and less on swordplay. And the outlaw spec is the other way around. It's focused on swordplay with, like, you know, some 
pistol weapon thrown in. I need to get closer. I actually didn't collect that many keys, that's weird. Wait, the knight is still young. That was, yeah, probably overkill. Time! 11 o'clock. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, well, let me turn this quest in real quick. These quests, both of them, and uh, that's gonna be it for this, this recording. That was gross. What is it? Any friend of Grey Mane is a friend of mine. Make it quick. Ah, uh, okay, I lied. Let me hit level 14 and get ambush. I'll do it real quick. I just need to kill one thing, right? How far away am I? Really? 48 XP away. Right? Is my math that bad? No. It says I'm at 100%. <laughs> what a concept. What a concept. Imagine if it just let you level up if you were close enough. There we go. Level 14, I got Ambush. And Crimson Vial, which is your combat heal. Apparently it's actually pretty effective. Heals you for 30% of your maximum health over 6 seconds, which is pretty quick. In PvE, I haven't taken nearly that much damage yet, and Ambush should be right here. Requires melee weapon, requires stealth. Ambush the target, causing 268 physical damage. Awards 2 combo points. That could be pretty good, but I don't know what you would lead it, lead that into. You could sap to set up for an ambush. And then I guess you would ambush into... Something to generate... Points. Then you use pistol shot to generate points if they're running away. You can use that to close distance, but that's unique to Wargan. That one, that's not really, you know, reliable. If I heart, where's it gonna take me? Stagecoach? I'll take it. Go on, because I think it's considered an in, which will give me an instant logout, and it'll also give me rest of XP for the next time that I play it, meaning 200%. Oh, okay. Woo! Alright everybody, that's it for this uh, World of Warcraft recording that I did for you guys. I did it because uh, apparently there was a lot of interest in the World of Warcraft stream that I did this morning. So I figured I would try and like do a little bit uh, more of like a planned sort of refined thing for you guys and see how you like that. If you want to see me do more World of Warcraft content, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, everything that you guys do here is really appreciated. So yeah, I'll see you guys online tomorrow night, 9pm EST. See you everybody.